What has been your favorite achievement so far? Legend. Why are you so cocky and not humble? I feel like that's the biggest misconception of me. Do niggas hate me? How's it been trying to build your clothing brand? Y'all know how much this shit mean to me. Couldn't even drop on my birthday and it's like, it's hard, bro. It's hard. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC. You know what I'm saying? Welcome back to my main channel. I'm out here in Mexico for my birthday. While I'm out here, I wanted to do a question and answer. Just with a good vibe, you know what I'm saying? Nice vibe. Only Clarence probably would do something like this. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to make sure I get at least one video done for y'all. And I figured let's do a question and answer. I think the last time I did a question and answer, I believe it was at the penthouse, if I'm not mistaken, when we live in the penthouse. So it's been a little while. So I just wanted to do an updated question and answer for y'all. So. I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get right to it. I asked y'all to give me some questions on the gram. I believe I screenshotted a few, maybe too many. So we're just gonna answer as many as we can. You know what I'm saying? But current favorite artist besides Queen and Mod. I would say my favorite artist, that's tough. And I feel like besides Drake, y'all know I love Drake and Meek. I love A Boogie. I would say St. John. Besides those people that I just named right there, I would say St. John. I really like his music. I really love his whole aesthetic of his brand. I fuck with his clothes. They actually send me clothes for free um, every time they drop, so I really do appreciate them. I, I, I love I love St. John, so I, I would probably say St. John. Ooh, this is a good one. Top five best dressers on the gram right now. That's tough. I would say... This is in no order either, and I'm leaving myself out of it, even though I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm for sure in there, because I put that shit on. But I would say Gunna, I like how Gunna dresses. Sometimes he be taking risks, but that's because he's from Atlanta, and Atlanta niggas take risks. But it, it don't be bad risk. It's just risk that we, we call it risk because we've never seen it before. But that should be, he be putting that shit on. I think Diera is one of the best dresses, male and female. Like just the way she puts shit together is hard. Who else? I think Jada. Jada definitely puts that shit on. I'm not gonna lie, I have to put little baby in there. Like I know he's not like a dresser, but like that nigga fly. Like the nigga got so much money, like you just gotta put that nigga in there. You gotta put that nigga in the top five. Like he just ain't having that shit that nobody got. Who else? Is there any YouTubers? I don't know. I think I'm I don't know. I know for sure. I don't I know for sure I'm the flyest YouTuber. So I don't even know if there's any YouTubes I would throw in there, respectfully. But yeah, I would leave it, I'd probably leave it there. Uh, let me know in the comment section if y'all agree or not, or if y'all disagree. But I feel like I, I have a very firm grip on fashion, and like those people I just named, they really throw that shit on. Am I missing somebody? I don't wanna miss somebody. If I'm missing somebody, and again, this is not an order, I can't do top five, bro. There's a lot of people on the gram that can dress, like, you know what I mean? Those are just the people that come to my mind over it. So let's just go to the next question. My girl throw that shit on too, but she don't really care about fashion. You know what I'm saying? You can tell the people that care about fashion. Did you and Queen once not love yourselves or did y'all always have self-love? I can't answer that question for Queen. I can answer that question for myself, but I think there was a point that I, I really didn't, I really didn't love myself i think when i was in the hood doing the things i was doing you know what i'm saying just trying to get by hustle get every dollar i can i don't think that i was truly loving myself because i feel like all i was doing was like fucking girls and just worry about money not really worrying about money because i was getting money but like those are the two things i really care like it fulfilled me like if i got money it fulfilled me if i if, if i fucked this girl it fulfilled me you know what i'm saying and i kind of grew out of that like put doesn't mean anything to me anymore like you know what i'm saying i try to like preach that to my friends and to, like that bro that shit that shit don't get you nowhere you know what i'm saying we just find you a loyal girl a good girl that can take you to another level that's the best thing you could ever do you know what i'm saying but i think there was a time I, I didn't love myself you know what i'm saying and um yeah i love myself now like you could tell and i feel like once i started loving myself too it's like people don't like when you love yourself you know what I'm saying? When you just think highly of yourself, when you think you're him, like I think I'm him. And people may disagree, people may agree, but it's really just my opinion that matters, you know what I'm saying? To me, but yeah, I could definitely say, you can say that, you know what I'm saying? Definitely for all my supporters that 
are struggling with that, struggling with loving themselves and, and just self-love, man, make sure you take time out to, to definitely just love on you, for sure. It makes a whole big difference. What has been your favorite achievement so far? I would say legend. Being a father is like the greatest job I'm gonna ever get. You know what I'm saying? I should. Ain't no feeling like it. I'll make a hundred thousand. And it still doesn't feel like when I pick Legend up in the morning out his crib and we both go downstairs, eat some sea moss, and I give him some oranges. Like, ain't no feeling like that, man. I'll pick that over the bag anytime. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's my greatest achievement so far. Did you ever think you were going to be where you are right now in life? I've never imagined it this far, especially with the things that we have coming and I have coming for you guys. I've never imagine did this far at all i'm not gonna lie oh it's getting mad hot oh it's getting hot i need a little you know me a little rinse off but yeah i never imagined it this far y'all i'm not gonna lie i think when i was in a hood I really imagine just me having all the girls, all the sneakers and shit, all the clothes. I was thinking very small, you know what I'm saying? I never pictured this. Never pictured, like, <laughs> I'm on the rooftop of my suite right now. It's the roof. There's a pool on the roof, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is, this is wild, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever pictured it to be this far, and I, I'm very grateful, very grateful. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Favorite thing about your relationship with Mod? Mod is just my nigga, bro. That's my nigga for life. That's not even my nigga, bro. That's my brother. Just the way he's always there for me. I know you guys like to think a little different, um, but Mod has never asked me for anything. Mod has never expected anything from me. Like all he expects from me is to be his friend. You know what I'm saying? And where I'm at in life right now and the blessings that I have, it's like, I feel like a lot of the times people expect from me, man. And it's like, it's, I don't know how to explain the feeling, man. The feeling, it can get very down. It, it could bring you down. It could like, it's cause like, why well, can't like, sometimes I just need a friend. Like I don't need somebody expecting from me or wanting from me, you know? I just sometimes need a friend and that's what Mod is to me. He's just always a friend. I don't need nothing from him. I just need him to be my friend, my brother, you know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like since day one, he's been that. And I love him for that, you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. And y'all better lay low on my nigga Mod, bro. Y'all be giving him a lot of hate, a lot of like negative energy, Mo. And he's just such a positive person. I just think he's in a time where he's like I, how I was. I think he's trying to find himself and trying to find what works and trying to, and through that, you gotta let people make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like we all make mistakes. I still make mistakes. And you guys be so hard on my mans and and all he want to do is just win. You know what I'm saying? But lay off my, my guy. Canon G7 or Sony ZV-1? I mean, y'all could tell me, I'll let you know what I think. I think the Sony ZV-1 is better than the G7X. I've used the G7X for about three years. I bought a Sony ZV-1 this year and I love it. It's amazing. It's a YouTube camera. It's not like just a camera. It's a YouTube camera. Like, it's for YouTube. Like, so simple. It's not difficult to use. You know what I'm saying? I love it. But y'all could be the judge of that. How does these recent videos look compared to the old videos? Y'all let me know. When did you know Queen was the one? I knew Queen was the one. It's that feeling, bro. It's that feeling when I've never, ever, no girl has ever made me feel like this. You know what I'm saying? Queen makes me feel like the sexiest thing in the world. Like, oh, and this is gonna, I'm gonna be real open right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like y'all, y'all really don't get a lot of open clearance and I'm about to be open. Queen make me feel like the sexiest thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Queen make me feel like the richest thing in the world. Queen make me feel like I'm the only thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? No girl has ever made me feel like that. And it's just, it's an amazing feeling, especially in talking to my fellas, man. You find a girl that make you feel like that, man. <laughs> the end is limitless. Like the sky is the limit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could do anything, you know what I'm saying? And she trusts me. She's not like, she's not like crowding me. Like, you know, she's not like, everybody stay away. Like she wants me to do good, you know what I'm saying? She allows me to be me and be free. That's one of the main things too, make mistakes. And 
I appreciate her for that, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love her for that. I'm not gonna lie, selfless person. You know what I'm saying? Makes me selfless. She's just an amazing person, bro. If you've ever met Queen, you know, bro. One of the sweetest people you'll ever meet, I promise. But yeah, that, that's really when I knew. It was probably when we first started talking, like in the beginning, when we was just friends. Like, that's how she made me feel. You know what I'm saying? She put the utmost belief in me. She believed in me, you know what I mean? And not everybody does that. But yeah, definitely a special woman. Do you want more kids with Queen? For sure. I know I be trolling y'all and I be y'all be mad at me when I say nah nah no more. I just I feel like no we can't have no more kids right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause we both try and do major things. But for sure, I do want more, for sure. I think I probably want like I don't know if Queen wants to hear this, but I think I want like two more maybe. I would love another son and one girl. Like I would love another son, one girl. And I feel like I'd be good. You know what I'm saying? That'd be perfect for me. Two boys, one girl, and CJ. That's three boys, one girl. That's like perfect. That's perfect ratio for me right there. Like, that's perfect. I hope this footage is not like windy, but you know. Ah, yeah. I had to go get that little thing to cover the sound. I want to make sure y'all not hearing wind and shit, but. Yeah, definitely would like some more kids. I don't think Queen wants to hear that, but you know what I'm saying? Definitely do, but all right, next question. How is your dad doing? My dad is doing good. I talked to him yesterday. He's doing good. He's just not used to being in the fine restrictions and he's a man that wants to be free and you know totally free you know but he has to wait and see what happens but he's doing good yeah thank you guys for asking really do appreciate that what's the kinkiest thing you've done with queen i think the kinkiest thing gotta be in here a lot a lot we went skinny dipping we went skinny dipping first night we got here and things happened you know what i'm saying things escalated you know what I'm saying? Things definitely escalated, but how could it not? You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at this. I don't even know if y'all can see this, but look at this. Like, how could it not escalate? Look at this. I can bring glass off to the edge. Like, how could it not? How could it not? You know what I'm saying? I don't even think, I don't think no one has ever done a question and answer like this, but it's your boy, one and only. You know what I'm saying? The next question. This is being a long ass video. How did you and do you adjust to being in the spotlight? I think I really didn't have to adjust because I've always been kind of a private person, but I did have to adjust a little bit on being too private. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're too private, it's like, how do you expect people to like fall in love with you? If you're like so private, you know what I'm saying? Like even rappers, when it comes to rappers, they're not private. They're rapping about their life. They're rapping, they're saying certain things. Like they get really emotional in them songs and they basically pour their heart out in this music. You know what I'm saying? So same thing with YouTube, especially YouTube. I feel like you can't be totally private. You can't be totally so off-spoken, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I've gotten a lot better with that. I feel like in the beginning, I was just being so private because that's what I'm used to, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want people knowing what I did or what I used to do or what I've done, you know what I'm saying? I thought people were gonna judge me, but now I like really don't care. I come from not, not so, you know what I'm saying? And I really don't care what people think of me. Yeah, I came from the basement, I lived in the basement, you know what I'm saying, of my mom's house, you know what I'm saying, in the Bronx, New York. Yes, there's a lot of rats, there's a lot of <laughs> You feel me? But that's where I come from and I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if without that, I probably wouldn't even be here, truthfully. Next question. Hold on, I gotta take a dip, bro, because I'm sweating again. I gotta take a dip. If you could tell your younger self anything, what would it be? I would say be patient and live life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the younger me was too worried about being too cool and too like, like too like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't give a, f I don't give a fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm the coolest. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, like, I was too worried about like what people thought. Do people think I'm cool or do people think I'm fly? And I feel like being me in my younger years probably missed out on a lot of experiences and a lot of childhood things just from trying to be too cool or trying to be older than I am or trying to like make it faster than I probably should have or trying to be successful right away you know what I'm saying like just be patient and live life you know what I'm saying that, that's for sure because this life is amazing you know what I'm saying you only get one I'm 28 you can't be you can't be 25 again you can't be 18 again you know what I'm saying you got to live it 
you gotta live it while you're there. You know what I'm saying? 20, I'm 28 right now, so I gotta live 28 like it's my last, cause it is. You feel me? Next question. How many questions we got left? One, two, three. We got a few. If you could go to any concert in the world, who would it be? And you can't choose Modern Queen. I would again say I would love to go to a St. John concert, Little Uzi concert, a Boogie concert, oh a Drake concert would be stu. Oh, Kanye. I would have loved to have been at that Kanye and Drake concert. I went to the Donda joint. I loved it. I had a great experience. But yeah, it would probably be those people. A St. John concert would be OD. Especially because I know all the lyrics. Like, you know, I'm not really good with lyrics. So I get to sing word for word. Like, I know this song. I just, she'll be hard. Let me know in the comments. Here, are y'all fucking with St. John or not? Y'all don't really know who I'm talking about. How are you doing emotionally, mentally, and physically? That's a great question. I'm actually doing very well in all three. You know what I'm saying? I've been taking out some time for myself lately. You know what I'm saying? Trying to become like just more disciplined, which I feel like only helps me. But I feel like I'm in a way better place than I was probably, what, a year and a half ago? You know what I'm saying? A year and a half ago, I feel like I was worrying about fucking hate pages and this. Oh, they, they gonna say this, oh, this or this one says this. Or I'm like, nigga, right now I don't give a fuck. That's why I do my reaction chat. I do whatever video I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And whatever y'all think about it, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? For an example, I went to Chick fil A one time and my car declined. The T pages had something to say about it or whatever. But like, why do I care? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why would you, you know what? And then for Queen's birthday, my car declined again because, nigga, the, the total was like seven bands. And I had already spent, I think, like 12. For Queen's birthday, I, I spent over 20000 like, on just drip. Like, you know what I'm saying? I spent, like, 19000 on drip. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what you telling me? And I bought her a car. Like, you know what I'm saying? On top of the 19 k that I spent. Why would I care if my car, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, my editor had wrote me. It was like, yo, you want me to leave that out of it? Because I already know what they're going to say. And I'm like, nah, bro. Keep that in there. Keep that in there, that's me, that's my content. You know what I'm saying? That shit is funny. Like, I'm not here to hide anything from nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be 100% me, you know what I'm saying? And I've been 100% me, I feel like, for like, probably a year now, you know what I'm saying? I'm totally in love with myself. I'm not sitting here changing for nobody or for nobody that doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? Or it doesn't give me the energy that I need to be who I am. If you're not, Flooded me with the energy I need, I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Even though you may already have everything you want, is there anything that you still kind of want to get? I think I want like two things. I definitely want a house that we own, which we want to build. I really want that for us. And the kids, I know they would love it. You know what I'm saying? Create just a good atmosphere for them. And I would also want a family business that we can then pass on to the kids and just let them thrive, you know what I'm saying? We're definitely not letting them grow up and have nothing, you know what I'm saying? So definitely we want a family business, something that can create jobs for family, both hers and mine, and just keep it in the family, for sure. Those are two things that I would really want right now. What do you love most about being a dad? Man, just being a dad, like I love it. Like I love the responsibility, kids in general, like they love you no matter what they're not the internet they just like love you bro like the way their eyes light up when they see you pick them up from school or when you bring a toy home or just like just you they love you bro they just love the shit out you like i don't need a haircut i don't need to be drip and dior i don't need the jewelry i don't need the cars like they just love you for you, like, and I feel like that's the most beautiful thing in the world, bro. For real, for real, like the joy they bring you, the joy they have is so innocent, you know? It's such a shame we gotta grow up and all of that kinda, you know, kinda goes away, but that's what I love about being a dad. It's like, you just don't, you could just be yourself and they love you, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the most beautiful part about it. How's it been trying to build your clothing brand? It's been a roller coaster, y'all. Yeah? It's been, a real roller coaster. It's like every time, like I was so close to dropping on my birthday, and then like the the graphic designer that I had, just like I, I'm very understanding, but like his grand, like I think he had a a death in the family, and then I lost his number, and then he never wrote me again. So it's like, I, bro, I lost all my graphic designs, bro literally lost all my graphic designs bro and now i have to try to do the same thing 
Man, bro, this shit make me emotional, bro. Cause I be, I be trying, bro. And it's hard, it's hard without any help, bro. I'm trying to do exactly what Kanye's doing or fucking St. John is doing or Jerry Lorenzo's doing, but I'm it's just me, bro. You feel me? That shit get hard, but... And y'all know, y'all know how much this shit mean to me. You feel me? It hurts, bro, but I'ma keep going. You know what I'm saying? I just posted the other day. I feel like I got like two solid graphic designers that I could rely on and just work with. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna try to to recreate what I already did, you know what I'm saying? But it, I don't have none of the files. I don't have none of the graphics. I don't have none in, bro. So it's like I couldn't even drop on my birthday. And it's like, I'm the one that got to deal with the pressure. I, I'm the one that got to deal with the questions. Where's this on, bro? Like, you don't do nothing but YouTube. Oh, you lazy. You don't want to do your clothes. But it's, bro. It's hard, bro. Shit hard. But... I'm going I'm I'm to continue to keep my head up, bro, and just keep working. I'm going to do it again, and now the seasons have changed. So now what I had for winter probably isn't going to work for the summer now. So now I got to create, it's like, bro, I need a team. But if I don't have a team, I can't stop until I get a team. So I'm going to just keep doing it, man. I'm gonna, again, back to the drawing board. I'm going to probably maybe hopefully try to keep the same designs, but put it on summer clothes maybe. But I'm not sure, y'all. I'm not sure, but I know I've already started designing again. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to design every day for about an hour or two. So I have designs, you know what I'm saying, that I could probably put on summer clothes. But what I wanted to release on my birthday, I had all my focus on that. And now it's just not that. Like, it's fuck that. Now, bro, you got to do this. But fuck it, man. We all go through obstacles in life. You can't put your head down and give up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm definitely not the one to give up. Y'all gonna see some clothes, I promise you, bro. That's all I wanna, that's, that's all I wanna do, man. But, yep, that's that's what's going on with Design by White, man. I know I don't express this to y'all all day. I know y'all probably really don't care. Y'all just wanna see the clothes, but I'm trying, y'all. I promise you I'm trying. How to overcome financial hardships in a time of need. I would say, Try to work on discipline, y'all. Yeah, discipline is the key to everything. It's like I feel like it's the key to success. Like in the beginning when I first started YouTube, I was so disciplined on doing YouTube. I did YouTube every single day. You know what I'm saying? So that's I feel like that's how I built my. Even though I got that push from Queen and got that push for my story, I did YouTube every single day, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. There was a lot of people that have been around Queen and been around and they don't have 3 million subscribers, you know what I'm saying? They not getting 500K views on videos. They not, but I I built that, you know what I'm saying? I built that. But yeah, bro, just discipline. I'm far from being like broke or, or in need and I still act like, I actually had a talk with my good friend Mendices. I don't know if you know him, Yandia Mendices. I had a talk with him yesterday and he said, that I have broke nigga syndrome. And like, I'm now realizing that I have broke nigga syndrome. This is way off topic too. I have broke nigga syndrome. And he said he used to have it too, but I have to work my way out of it. And I'm working my way out of it. But basically broke nigga syndrome is when you get you some money and you just want to hold it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to spend it. You don't want to invest it. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. It's cause you're like, you're scared to go broke. You know what I mean? And I'm far from it. I mean, I have accounts over a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? I have multiple accounts. Like, I'm doing very well for myself. I'm very proud of myself, but I gotta get out of that. I gotta take that risk and buy that building. I gotta take that risk and buy that office. I gotta take that risk and buy that NFT. I gotta take that risk and buy crypto. I got to, I got to, bro. You gotta believe in yourself, bro. I didn't even know that was a syndrome. I got broke nigga syndrome. <laughs> like, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting out of that. I've already started looking at properties, bro. I'm gonna go, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing to lose. But yeah, just discipline, y'all. That, that question will be discipline. I got real off topic on that one. What's the main thing that you think makes a relationship last? I think the main thing that makes a relationship last is communication, understanding, letting your partner be them. I feel like in every relationship I've been in, I feel like I had to change a little. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I had to change to be with that person. And 
with Queen, she allows me to be myself. Again, she allows me to make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I've made mistakes. I've made, you know what I'm saying? And she just supports me and what I do. Same with her. I let her make mistakes. I'm very understanding. I'm very like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sweating her. I'm not like making sure she covers herself up or make sure she doesn't go to the studio with this rapper. Like, just think of, all right, me as a partner, just use our, our situation as an example. Think of an artist, right? Queen is an artist. Think about the pressure that she has to go through and the amount of nervousness she has to go through going to the studio with maybe a rapper, right? And now, on top of that, making a good song with this rapper. Do you think me stressing her about, yo, wear this, cover this up, uh, who's gonna be there, who's there, uh, FaceTime me. Do you think me doing that helps? her not be nervous and not make good music or do you think that hurts? You know what I'm saying? Do you think if like I'm doing YouTube collab with like a female and she's hondering me and do you think that helps or, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, we let each other be ourselves is all. I think that's the biggest, I think that's the biggest key, bro. Who is the most influential person in your life? I don't think there's just one person. I think there's a couple people and they probably don't even think they motivate me, but they do. And they definitely motivate me, like influence me to just keep going, try new things. I would say it would be Queen, obviously. You know what I'm saying? If your partner doesn't influence or motivate you, I don't know what you're doing with that person. Uh, but the people that probably don't even think they motivate me, I think Deshae. Deshae Frost, my good friend Deshae, D.E.G., like Dub, Austin McBroom, all of these people, I don't even think they know it. Like these are my friends and we don't even get to talk like that in that kind of way, but they influence and motivate me to just keep going and keep doing what I, you know what I'm saying? Like I see them working, oh shit, work, I wanna work. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, they trying new things. Y'all know I've been wanting to do the podcast. I seen Deshae and Dub do the podcast. Now I'm about to get on that. You know what I'm saying? Like I love it. Like they just motivate me. I told Deshae that the other day. You know what I'm saying? Like you keep doing what you're doing, bro. You have no idea how you may influence people that you may not even know you influencing or motivating. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I love that. So that podcast is coming soon, but I'm pretty sure they don't even know they motivate or influence me in that way. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my niggas. Shout out to my niggas, B. How many questions we got? Just video long as hell bro okay i think we got like three more questions why are you so cocky and not humble god could take everything you have away just like that i feel like that's the biggest misconception of me if you've met me you know i'm not cocky i've been labeled as materialistic i'm not that just because i have nice things and it seems like other people is not buying the nice things that i have doesn't mean i'm materialistic you know what i'm saying and i'm not cocky i'm very confident though and i feel like when you call me cocky or you tell me to be humble, you're trying to down me. I feel like it's disrespectful to tell me to be humble. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was broke, if I didn't have all this, if I take all this off, if I wasn't here, y'all be calling me a bum ass nigga. Right? <laughs> Let me take off the glasses. If I wasn't here, I didn't have these things. You guys be calling me a bum ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't make everybody happy, sweetheart. What's your name? What's your name, shorty? Riley's mom, I'm sorry. I can't make everybody happy. I'm sorry that you think that way. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of people that I motivate. There's a lot of people that look up to me. And I think a lot of people would disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sorry I couldn't make you happy. I really do. I would love to explain to you, like, you know what I'm saying? You could talk to me. You could DM me. You could ask me, why are you so cocky? Maybe you should be more confident. Maybe you should believe in yourself more. You think the most successful people in the world got there by being humble? Like, I hate the word humble, bro. You have to be somewhat cocky and confident to make to be successful, bro. You know what cocky is? Cocky is believing in yourself when others don't. Being cocky is when the world is saying I'm a bum and I'm saying, no, I'm not. Fuck humble, bro, take that out. I feel like it's only our culture that uses that, bro. Be humble. Why should I be humble? So you can feel more comfortable about yourself? <laughs> You know what I mean? The world is crazy, bro. Has anybody noticed y'all this vacation? Absolutely not one person, bro. Literally, that's why you haven't seen Beast with us. We was about to fly security out here. Security is a whole nother bag. Probably like a, probably like four bands more on the vacation. This vacation is already, I'm not gonna say the price, it's already past 10 bands. You know what I'm saying? So we told him just to stay, bro, because where we at, bro, we booked it and our travel agent said, well, dude, this is what Queen was telling me. She said, this is like the Beverly Hills of Mexico. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're here with like fucking 
we're here with movie stars, we're here with doctors, we're here with like just really successful people that probably wouldn't even know who we are, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course we didn't believe her, you know what I'm saying? Cause we're getting, we get noticed everywhere, but we're here bro, and literally no one has noticed us. Not to put this out there or anything, but we're the only black people here. Like literally, I haven't seen, we're the only black couple here, bro. We stand out like a sore thumb here, but everybody's been cool. You know what I'm saying? They ask us what we do and they ask us like what our businesses and what we got going. So everything's been cool, but yeah, we haven't been noticed at all, bro. Like literally at all. The last time we got noticed was at the airport. That was it. We haven't got noticed in this place at all, which has been very refreshing. You know what I'm saying? Is this the last question? Yeah, this is the last question. How do you deal with the hate? What hate? I get hate? I get hate? People hate me? I don't even know. I don't even, <laughs> like, I don't even see it. I don't even see that. I don't even know niggas hate me. Are you serious? Do niggas hate me? I had no idea I got hate. Bro, let me know who hates me. I didn't know. I swear to God, I've never experienced hate in my life. I didn't even know I get hate. That's crazy. Maybe I need to look deeper in myself. I didn't know people hate me. Wow. I might need to look more into that. But that's the last question, y'all. That's my question to answer in Mexico. I love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Again, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I love you guys. I'm never gonna leave y'all from my personal channel again. I really, literally forgot how much I love making videos and vlogging and creating content for you guys on my main channel. Yes, I do. I really do love reactions. I love doing them. I love recording them. I love looking for videos to react to, but it ain't nothing like what got me here. And that's my main channel. I love you guys. We are gonna keep on trying to grow on here. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna start doing giveaways on here. I'm excited to do that. I definitely wanna give one of these cameras away, the Sony ZV-1. I wanna give other things away too, especially for Christmas. We might, me and Queen gonna do probably some giveaways for Christmas on the Royal Family, but I wanna do something for this channel too. So give me some ideas on some things that you guys would like to receive for me, you know what I'm saying? And in return, you guys can help me grow this channel, you know what I'm saying, for sure. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to me. I'm in Mexico chilling on a rooftop pool. You know what I'm saying? Three years ago, man, I was in the hood trying to sell little pills here and there. Fucking like, uh, delivering other shit. I'm not gonna say it, all the hardcore shit that I, that I was doing, but three years ago, three and a half years ago, bro, I was in the hood with probably $6,000 in my pocket trying to figure it out, doing illegal shit. And now I'm here legally making my money and God is good, man. God is good. And I'ma holla at y'all. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next video. Peace. <laughs>